we go. Here with the microphone. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Habitat. We are on site last coast weekend down in Florida. It's a lot of fun to be here at, in the weather. I know a lot of you are dealing with you know, Easter's and a thousand pounds of snow and I feel for you. I'm sure my house is covered back in Detroit, but <laughs> cold down here, but not cold like I can complain about. There you are, Lucy. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hi. So I'm going to take over your screen. We're, we're just going to start two options. So you'll see there's another person that says Aaron Shea. I'm going to spotlight them for everyone. Um, hopefully it will take over your screen. We're going to kind of run through the auction here on paper. Uh, it was a successful auction last night and it was a lot of fun. Um, we had an incredible amount of activity on the internet and we have private bids and a little bit of activity on the floor, but people enjoyed themselves. So Andrew, why don't you go twice the pace? Go twice the pace, faster. Let's go, kind of go faster. Go faster! <laughs> Lots of people in the room. So we're all here enjoying lunch right now. I want to give you a little eyeballs on sight of some of the works that are there. That's nice. And you're connecting to my phone. And a lot of these yeah. found homes. And we're, you know, we kind of previewed this a minute ago. So he's going to go a little quicker through the auction just to give you guys a glance of it. And then he'll go over to the shows. Um, that Carlson's available. I can't believe no one bid on that thing. That was the craziest thing. I remember mm. those things sell usually at auction. What was on that pedestal was a John Q uh, piece that has been taken away for pack up. Um, those two pieces are still available. The two little uh, Marquises, Hotter Pass, that's available. Um, things got close, but just didn't make it. That was part of my grandmother's collection, the Virginia Ruff there, uh, Laura Donifer, and found a home. And uh, Howard was telling us an interesting story a minute ago about blue pieces. But this is kind of a little bit of a fly through. First time we've ever done this, but luckily I have Andrew who knows how to work technical videography stuff, like a bar mitzvah. Uh, but if you hey, this piece here, yeah, this one's available. It's two pieces. If you're looking for two amazing Morrises out the door, I think it's 10 grand. So you let me know. You'll have some amazing pieces that are still. I'll put it up online too when I have a chance. This Ann Wolf sold. I have a piece somewhat similar, but not as nice. This was a conundrum because they sold one of these recently at a different auction for like $90,000. I sold for 16 plus premium. So right place, right time for that kind of work, somebody. Another little nugget and some uh, root people under there, but he'll just kind of pass through these. So the, the weather was fighting us at first. It was cold when we got down here. It's still cold. I guess there's a reason why they call, call it uh, Florida, uh, winter in Florida in January. Uh, this roughener was great. And um, we did some great events uh, on we had a meet and greet on, on Thursday. People came in, got to see the space, say hello to people. The hardest thing about this place is finding it. It's kind of off the beaten path, but once you find it, you walk in, you're impressed. And one of the coolest things about this place, I'll show you real quick, is this clap. There's no echo in this 8,000 square foot open space, at, which is designed for film. So we don't have that kind of reverberation that we'd, we'd had, we've had in the past and the prime space in Chicago. So it's been quite incredible. But we're taking you on our virtual tour. There it is. There's a piece that's still available, Malcolm. You give me a call, send it your way. Um, that little Paul Staker next to it, which is a big one, but sold online. There was a lot of activity with people who were not here and wanted to get their clutches on some of these pieces. And it's interesting, some people were even local and bid online and they're coming to pick things up without even being at the auction, but that's the way it is. Overall, the safety's been fine. The spacing's been fine. The food's been amazing. People have been great. So yeah, that piece is still available if you're looking for a queen size Paul Nelson. Yeah, it's a beauty. And then this little awkward, but awesome piece. Ever seen one like it? And then he'll keep panning through. That read, I believe is still available. This is one of the an early Paul Stankard piece. And then this was a surprise. This Joe Philip Myers to the left of us. We've had it auctioned a couple of times. I think we sold it for 9,000. Go figure. So you know, right place, right time. And then we have our Richard Jolly sold as well, which I'm happy about. And a beautiful home for that work. This is kind of where the auction stage was. They came and took it away already. And they'll kind of pass through the rest of them. Sold that stankard, beautiful work. 
and then we'll get to the shows. Yep, so we had that baleen still that passed at the auction, the Klimpar sold. And then we're gonna get to our big Lebinsky piece. Man, this thing is mammoth. I mean, look at that, that is a monster. And I found a home. We gotta build a box and get it out of here, which is great. We'll probably be delivering that one. Classic halava, we've tried this at auction a couple of times, still available. I love this piece. Got to find the right price for it. Medicine right here sold. Lots of hot spots. Bo Perkins. Bo Perkins sold for seven grand plus the premium. Believe it, so much activity on that. I had two silent bids for seven grand and whoever got it, last one won, got it, it was crazy. Marcus Treepot went for nine. And then the... Um, Big Ben trade passed, and then this thing sold. This had to be a deal. This was an amazing deal. It was eight grand plus the premium for that. Uh, uh, her Babcock, hey, it's me. And then um, I think these two passed to the Clumpar piece, Four Seasons, as well as this Schechter. So that wraps up the quick auction. But Andrew, do a pass around the room and head up, head over to the women's show, will you? To the ceiling, and we'll we'll give you guys a virtual tour for that. Pan the room too. See everybody. Who hasn't left for the Ringling, Ringling Museum yet? They, they, they provided us, um, we provided amazing salads today for lunch. Everybody had their choice of different types of salads, which was really fun. So we're zipping through. There's uh, Latches are telling a story. <laughs> Janet. So it's going to go all the way through to the, I think that might be Ferd hanging out right there in the front of us. There he is. There's Ferd and Alex Bernstein. Hi guys. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll start off wherever he wants to start off. So the, the, the right side here is the Beyond the Ceiling show, Influential Woman of Glass. And Amber Cohen has three works available that are on the wall. We're getting kind of a visual. Ann Wolf, beautiful piece. She's a, a legend in the, in the community. She's retired, but has worked still. This is one that we have. And uh, all five of these Stephanie featured pieces sold. So wow. all five of them in their home now celebrating women. And they're called Women on the Precipice. And uh, we're looking forward to working more with her. And this piece uh, is still available. This is a brand new one. She told me who it was an homage of, but I can't remember off the top of my head. It's telling a life story of somebody hmm. probably on the uh, website somewhere. But it's each piece is individual. This piece sold. We had this in one of our earlier shows. I think our 50th, but getting work in front of people is the key. Getting it in place, people can experience it. Um, this is the two from Kalamazoo, Aiken and Josh Davids, and we sold uh, the piece on the left there, uh, the largest piece. They have the prices have up a little bit. So if you like their work, this would be a time to get on it because it's going up and up. Uh, an important part of the female history of glass, Christina Bothwell. Powerful work, moving. So we have three of her pieces on display and she just sent in this fish, which is called Mer or something like that, or fairy, or kind of an exciting piece to see the visuals inside of it. It's cool. Paid in this, I love when she hand paints. This piece is a dream. I just love that work. It's so Karen, why does she use monkeys so, so often, do you know? She just loves animals. That's the whole idea behind it. She just loves animals. Um, the animal did not sell. No, it's just on display. Um, she just loves the animals. Part of her nar narrative, part of her story. Gotcha. I have I think three had three of her work and Littleton and Vogel's work. So we Kate, we sold one of them, which was hands holding a crystal. So that's the other two we have available. Tatsinski, of course, is a very important part of the, the, the movement of glass entirely. And we try to get more work, but she's so busy. Hopefully we'll get some more in the future. And then Deanna Clayton is here who actually taught a class. And my mother did it, didn't she, mom? I did. She did the class and my aunt Karen did it before and they had a lot of fun. And there's, uh, I think four pieces. We've sold two of them. Wow. A single figure that has been sold and out of here. And then I believe there's two vessels and this first one right here has been found a home, which is great. But I love her work, it's just incredible. The other vessel must be somewhere else, but they're beautiful, beautiful things. We recently took it away already. Who knows? 
And then we're still patrolling. Look at this thing. Oh, we'll get to it in a second. This is Winnie Testa Maher. Two of her works are here. We have one more um, in our back room area. So we're moving stuff around. And then Jane Pullman and Sabrina Knowles. Look at these masterpieces. Oh. Doing the close up first of the spears. Look at the detail of those, those paths that are hidden inside each spear. Just incredible pieces. If you have one of those, let alone a whole set. Jenny is in town and helped us set up the work and she'll be doing an installation for some of our clients that bought their work uh, earlier in the year. And then this is the, uh, the wheel and they wanted on this pinkish wall just, just to show the femininity of the piece. And it is just incredible. And so if you have a high power desk, this has to sit behind you. So everybody gets, demands respect <laughs> with this kind of thing. Because it is incredible. The chieftain sits in front of this, this piece. It is, it is spectacular. Oh, hello, we got a visitor. Here's Jenny. She's coming to show us and say hello. Hey, Jenny, how are you? <laughs> you can't, she can hear you, but she can't talk <laughs> audio on that side. And then uh, 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 Kathy Mulcahy. Can you come here? It is quite a fun one. And then we have some more of her work in the gallery. Can only bring one down at the moment. Was for Can you tell me why there's, why my, Nan Nancy Callen. Oh, that's cool. And you can see her work there. Which is a lot of fun. She's she's incredible, and we've had a lot of interest in her work too. They keep going around. These are giant pieces by her too. So they came from the um, they came from uh, the Sandwich Museum, I believe. We had a show too celebrating women. Vivian Wang. Are you familiar with her work? These are her newest City Kids. And then we have a, a royal queen behind it. Apologize for the coloring. The camera adjusts to an orange. It's more lighter, clear color. Another city kid, which is fun. Good, good, good. We have another one in, the, in our storage room. Another important part of the, the story of women, women in Glass is Vladimir Kumpar. Two green pieces, two ma ma masterpieces. She is incredible many of you have heard her talk her son is also in the show i think they put him in a, we put him in aquatica um just incredible Our fun work hey lucy look at here one of your friends lucy did the animals and tim tate did the uh exterior for the mirror piece and the and the dogs on top it's a collaboration work that we have here celebrating both lucy and tim and then we're going to see lucy's other pets oh i'll see the Looking at the curtain right there. Oh, three dogs. We have uh, Fido and uh, Malcolm and Jebediah. <laughs> and then her newest piece that just arrived to us. Two oh, that's great. Her, her bronze went on a glass. Mm. It's incredible. This is a lot to set up. So all these walls and all these curtains and lights are set up by us. It's completely empty space. So you got to envision how much legwork that Rob and Dave did. Because <laughs> they do everything. Marlena Rose has uh, a beautiful bell piece that she brought in. And then we'll kick over to more of her work. She has a Buddha head, an air to water Buddha, and then the Mandela piece on the wall, the butterfly. You can see how it's painted white behind that piece. It just looks better on a normal white wall, which most people have anyway. And then our horse, our ancient horse. Beautiful cast glass. These are available in multiple colors too. And then we're kicking over to Kate Rhodes. Incredible wall piece. Look at all the, the time and effort that went into this work. But look how much time and effort went into placing the tag. Jesus, sitting on the piece. <laughs> I have to go fix that. And then, yep, this is her newest piece, freestanding. It's cool. Wild, so wild. Pardon our bandwidth. We're running on free wireless in the building. Okay, and then we get to Zora Palova. The, uh, focal point of the promotion for the work. I thought this piece is much larger. It's, you know, it's about yay big. And then her master wall piece. That is wonderful. Celebrating. She's just incredible. Thank you, Eve. We, we put together a great collection and a lot of it actually arrived to the show. Fighting customs was a bit difficult, but we got most of it here. We're still awaiting 
Laura Donifer's work hasn't arrived, so we're waiting for that to get here. And then we have a Susan Taylor Glasgow. Oh my God, that's so interesting. I love that. So beautiful. And our, these are what fairy tales are made of series of work. <laughs> and then she has her beautiful chandelier dress that he'll be on in a second. See the birds up there hidden in the cage and it lights up. It is just a spectacular work. Yeah, it's very, very fun. I love her pieces. And she's here too, in her sparkly mask. Oh, nice. And then we have some of her shoes and corsets, a little variety, and she came in, which is great to have her here. And she has a couple of her purses too, which are mounted on the wall up there. Yeah, fully functional, part of her limited series. Our buddy, Paul Stankard, you can't have a show or a piece. He's actually in the uh, Aquatica show, but Paul's an easy one to bring. So we love it. There's, there's uh, the back of Peter Bremers and there's Shelly Allen. <laughs> and if you ever, now we're going, I guess we're going into Shelly's solo show, I hope. This is a quick transition. So this piece just arrived, this stargazing horse, which is pretty incredible. You can see the patterns on the side, like, like the universe and crops. Let's see if he's going the right way. Oh, he's not, but it's all right. We'll just go to Aquatica. New artist, Emily Williams. Exciting work. Nice. Heavily themed on nature and oral. She fits really well. And the prices are really great on these too. So had a lot of attention on her work. Someone new for this show. And then another new artist, David Ruth. He travels around the world and takes molds of surfaces, whether they're in Antarctica or Hawaii, and he brings them back and casts them in the studio in California. And that is a massive chunk of glass. He was my student at UC Santa Cruz back in the 70s. Oh, was he? Well, he a well, student. Well, I, was I was running the shops, actually. And gotcha. Uh, Javier, Gomez. That? Javier Gomez from Spain. He's, he's oh. a his game by far. I love, love it. it. It's incredible. And then we're going to see our buddy Alex Bernstein. Mm. Really fantastic work by our friend and family member Alex, who's here with his family vacationing and stopping by for the weekend. Aaron, you should figure out a way to do a catalog someday. We did. It's a virtual catalog on glasscoastweekend.com. <laughs> Sorry, I'm always pushing you to try new stuff. Now, this is an amazing show. It's just so, uh, so much good stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, we did the best we could. Um, oh, no, no, I understand on short notice, right? This is uh, Alex Bernstein's masterpiece. Um, it's just unbelievable, this whole thing. So he's been selling individual pieces, uh, sets of three, really. So some people have, couldn't live without it. This, this work is cool. Eli Cecil from Florida, one of his pieces, we sold one of them. I think we sold the other one, focused on nature and oneness and concentration. And, you know, when you have to be alone, this is your world. Let's see where we're going next. Oh, we're going to uh, Magarva. He's, she's incredible. If you guys don't have a work of hers, you definitely should. She's a master kiln caster. She moves those around hot in the kiln with her hands. Well, with a little bit of gloves on. And so she's going to be in a force that you <clears throat> definitely one to keep your eye on. Master of texture, too. Zipping in to this is a new artist named Kojima from Japan. She's extremely successful in Japan. And her work is similar in appearance to Lazo Lokasi, but her prices are not. <laughs> so this piece, I think, is like $9,000. The other ones are much expensive, but something incredible. Peter Hora. Mm. These works are museum quality. You have to decide if you like blue or purple, but he's just on top of his game. We've been representing him for years and we're doing a lot of business with him as of late. We still have the minis around in the gallery too, which are a lot of fun. But man, look at the scale on that thing. It would look better in front of a natural window, but what do we got here? And then we got Michael Taylor, who's in town, and Debbie, his wife exploring water in their own style. Yeah, they're, they're fantastic. Then we're going to our old 
River can have a well, Aquatica show without him by far. We got a turtle and a giant fish and a whale. That turtle is the best ever. And the whale's impressive too, as is the fish. Someday I'll have a whole collection of his, I'll have a whole room of his work. Cause I can just live in the, it's like being inside a cartoon. They're just incredible. And he's doing a great job walking around. Oh, and then this is a new artist too from Japan. Not a very successful artist. The name escapes me, but we discovered her work and fell in love with it. And somehow she got it to us before the event and they arrived <laughs> safe and they are just huge vessels. And there's so much detail and cutter. The form is somewhat simple, but just the scale and the beauty and it makes you feel like you're in the Orient. It's just wonderful, wonderful work. I feel, and they're priced really well too. I think they're $7,800 each. Um, and then we got to Michaela Pavlik, who's Vladimir's son. Wonderful, wonderful work. He's all about water. And there's no reason not to have him in the show because he's all about it. He has two pieces celebrating, I guess the word is element, maybe the element of water, which is probably not right, but it's just incredible master of casting. He's about my age and he makes some amazing things. Let's see what we're going on next. Oh, we got our friend Colin Reed. That's a great piece. It's a great one. We had one in red and sold it and we have blue. And this is incredible. This, this thing is huge. Look how giant that circle is. That work and the one we're gonna see next, we're in Taiwan for an exhibition for like almost a year. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to come back to us for our September event, but it never made it. We brought it for this event because it finally got here. And that is a museum quality piece, that giant, giant circle. And there's the smaller piece of from Taiwan, the same series. Beautiful, beautiful things. And um, guys, I'm on, I'm on Zoom right now, so there's no talk around. <laughs> oh, and then we got to Michael Barron's. It's a cool piece. Celebrating, celebrating water as he does in his work. Celebrating water. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible things. And Michael just had a daughter, for many of you guys know. Daughter named Lee. Okay. Celebrate that. Good news all around. I assume Michael and Willie didn't make it to the. I did not. Nope. Time. This is a new style for Michael, too. Oh, wow. This form. More expressive. <laughs> And then everybody knows Dimitra. That piece is sold, Dimitra. If you're on the if you're on the uh, Zoom, which I think you are, on the home for that one. I have interest in the other two. So exploring water fits well with this body of work too. Dimitra Theophanes, you're here. How sweet. <laughs> and we are going to really took advantage of the space. We had it here. Rob and Dave really did a great job setting everything up. And then um, Majartan, Lucas Majartan, I believe the name is. Artist in the Czech Republic. We probably met on one of our trips out there and have developed a relationship with. It's the highest level of glass creating. We're going to scan over to uh, um, Brazon, Thomas Brazon. Master cutting and polishing. Every work is just incredible. And he's priced really well too for his, but he produces multiples like you're, as many European artists do. But they are just so refined. Pick a color and every piece you'll love. That is, yeah, it's a magical. Amethyst. Our friend Lachazar Boyajev was here. He gave a talk for the um, the glass group on here, uh, which I heard went really well. I didn't get a chance to go see, but it's great to have him come down and talk and be here. I'm Habitat family member. I'm sure we're, I'm sure he's eating right now. I see him right over there sitting with uh, I think maybe Marlena Rose and uh, Josh and David. David's 
Those are his three mermaids, he calls them. Well, there's our friends. There's Debbie and Thomas and Peter. <laughs> it's good to see everybody who came down. And there's, everybody's talking up the pieces of Peter's work. There she goes. Zip. And we're going to zoom around Peter's presentation. All new pieces. This white piece is just incredible. You can see the veils. It's just, it's, I don't know how he does it. So hit it with it. Don't hit it with a camera, Andrew, please. <laughs> Let's see where we go next. We're going, oh, he's zooming himself. Oh, he's resetting something. Okay. And then we can see this piece is so big. It's giant, giant crevasse. Nat almost naturally formed. The giant blue piece has a lot of attention on it. There's, there's lines inside the piece, bubbles and movement. It's spectacular. <laughs> Only if you were here to see it in person, but this is as close as we're going to get. Absolutely spectacular work. Got a couple more. Yeah, beautiful natural, naturalized forms. See lots of movement in the piece, and this piece on the right has different stamps in it, something new that Peter has tried. Um, to, see, uh, to add something to the glass he's never tried before. So, so you're some, seeing something new here he's, doing, he's experimenting with. All right, let's see where we go next. Andrew has an idea. Oh, we're at, back at the Shelley show. All right, so this is Shelley's solo exhibition called Harbor. And some of the works are existing and some are new. This is an existing piece, but it is fantastic. I want to say some some reindeer. I'm not quite sure, but it is. She's just incredible. I love the fact that Rick has to carry the rocks back from their walks that she adds to her pieces. Feline and cat form, top of a almost like an arrowhead. The deer head that we had here. It's I what it's called, but every single piece of blade bladed grass has to be installed manually and it is a labor of love but it is a beautiful work she did us a favor of doing a demonstration here uh, i think it was yesterday and everybody had a great time and martin blink jumped in too to help out because he was minutes. giving for a few minutes because he was giving a he gave a talk that day too about his work because we're celebrating him uh tonight at the imagine museum or his new ins installation that's opening. Yeah, the couple of bears, it's, it's, it's so beautiful. And then these are the new works she just did for the Harbor series. And they're little uh, animals with inner tubes or lifesaver jackets around them. We sold two. The two on the right have found a home. And they're very fun. So we're- I love the little rhino. Yeah, the little rhino is the one that sold first, so. But it is, it is a lot of fun. And then we go to Andre Jacob's work, inspired by water. I think there's probably three out, you can see that. Amazing, amazing skill level. And he's been working forever. I bumped into people here that said they bought his work 30 years ago. And he's still at the top of his game. And Peter Borkovics, heavily inspired by water. Don't quite know how he makes these things. I tell people he spins a mix, Maxwell House can in an, during the, during the uh, process of the fusing process. Another again. Let's see if Andrew knows to go to the last. Oh, he might not be doing it. Let's see. Hey, guys, there's Tom and Ferd and Alex. Let's see if he helps him go. Maybe he'll go to Martin Blank over here. Okay. So we gave Martin a little space in honor of his um, presentation at Imagine or so which rotates. We had five of those. We have one left. There's my mom I'm just coming over. His... Hi, Kathy. Yeah, we get the idea. It rotates. Very, very fun. He's always made, Martin's been really impressive at his skill at creating the body form. No one is better. That kind of design and sculpture. Abstract landscape, smoky maybe, I think it's called. Price well, heard thought that price was half what it should be, so I think it's priced at twenty eight thousand, and it is a great collection of his work. And we have some fun lotuses. That one's brand new. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. 
rocks and silvers. And then a red, a couple of red lotuses to mix it up. <clears throat> Just a of fun. Let's see how far the internet works in here if Andrew can go to our back room. Too. So get an idea of the, uh, the weekend here on top of all the events. Wilfred Grutens, who couldn't make it, obviously, because the traveling is difficult, but he qualifies. I don't know what level of water, maybe, maybe on um, a microscopic level. So this is a lot of fun to put together and really get in front of people again. And it's been a great time. People have been safe. People have been having fun. And when people are close together, they, everybody has their masks on, following the rules of the school and our rules, too. It's great work. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a big one, a big orb. Let's see if you, Andrew's hit everything. I see Yamano's work. Huh. He wanted to be here. Getting through customs was difficult, but we got some work in from him. I guess he sold out, he had a show in Germany. Peter Bremmuth was telling me and he, he sold, he brought seven pieces to the show and he sold 12. <laughs> But I think he had a couple commissions that were, were afterwards. I just fell in love with the work. All right, let me see if I can get him to come over and I'll tell him what to do next. There's Craig Corey and Peter and Marlena and Lachazar. So people are coming through. They, they can't really see us. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they probably can't see you. He's looking at him. It was me. Come on over, Andrew. I'll have you go do two more things for the group before you go. Um, go take a video of the horse head by Marlena Rose. Still alive or no? Still alive. The horse head by Marlena Rose. Oh. You're doing great. Our horse head by Shelly Allen. And then go into the back room, see if it works for those rooms too. That would be great. This is, this is working much better than I thought it would. <laughs> so there's Andrew. Thank you, Andrew, for, for walking us around the show. And like I said, there'll be a bus leaving from here. People are driving themselves, you know, people are making their own decisions. Um, about their own um, activities, but it's been great. Absolutely. The college has been fantastic. So Shelly Allen's horse head, it looks incredible. It looks a little hot here, so make sure you see the picture of it. Come on. It's, just, it's about the pony size, so it's almost life size. Spectacular. So this is probably her masterpiece for her exhibition. And I think she has a dangling horse piece coming up that she's working on to finish. It didn't make the show but we'll be putting big images online soon. So while he's walking to the back, I'll just say I miss seeing all you guys for this event. Usually your faces are around. Usually the I miss being there. See yeah. you. Usually you are, yep, Steve. But uh, it's always next time we're planning for our event in April. So we'll see what the world's like then. I'll get personal bubbles for all of you. Fingers <laughs> crossed. I'll be there. <laughs> that would be great, Steve. Everybody. All right. So gonna... But no falling down the stairs this time. Yeah, no kidding. Keep <laughs> it, I'll get you a tie to the ceiling. It's a hook up there. I know there is. So the overall space, you're getting an idea of it. It turned out play uh, for big open room. It's big. There's no echoey experience in here because of the sound stage. It is absolutely fantastic. So yeah. Let's, let's zip into the back room if we can, Andrew. Back and around. And there's Andrew again. I just want to hit anybody. So with the, with the back rooms, we've moved, we're moving stuff around. So this is Matthew Curtis's masterpieces just arrived. Cool. out in the show. Those are fantastic. They are incredible. And then um, David Ruth, beautiful cast, larger piece. Put back here, someone wanted to see it in front of the window. Hmm. But it is a thick, thick piece of glass. Up there, Maddie Curtis, a couple of uh, Brazones again. Different colors, different choices. We sold the blue one. And I think that um, back there is an Eli piece, Eli Cecil, who's a, who's a, fr a family friend of the gallery, too. So this is one. So I think these rooms are like 
meeting rooms or dressing rooms for the actors who would normally be in this building. You can see the lights on for activity. Hmm. Zipping around here, there's we put some of the other works. They're moving stuff around. There's catching his control. A Baron's piece that was here earlier. We moved it back here to make room for his newer work. Looks like there's two Yamanos over there. Those are the new works that arrived, so we'll be swapping those around. And we didn't see them. Oh, maybe he did. Borkovics, we just put this piece back here a minute ago. Yamanos, so two fish in each color for bowl. Very stunning works. Absolutely beautiful. So there are a lot of, yeah, a lot of incredible things hidden away for now as we move stuff around. And then two beautiful Andre Jacobs. And we just moved around for the other ones. I'm going to zip into one of the back rooms. Weather here is cold, but it's sunny. It helps out. And supposedly next week it's going to be a little bit warmer. All right, let's see what's I got three rooms left, and then the tour is over. You've been to the Glass Coast weekend, everybody. Go see where he's going first. He's going all the way down first. See, this is the uh, the suite where uh, the actresses prepare for the show. Look at all these beautiful people by Marina. Her Buddha heads and. Or butterflies. Hey, Andrew, look to see you. Andrew is doing a nice job. He is. He's doing a great job. Larger piece. Master of sand casting, beautiful colors in her work. And then we're going to kick back to. Internet's a little choppy in there, but we'll kick into this room. So we'll see two of the horror minis that we brought with us. Mm. And then a new artist, Ivana. I think it's, I can't remember. It starts with an M. Oh, there's Winnie Testemacher there, the other piece that we swapped out. Ivana's piece, brand new showing for us here at the gallery. Incredible cast work, followed by Richard Jolly. Themes for water, uh, extra Alex Bernstein and extra Matthew Curtis. And then there is another room, which is here. And we are going into an IRDS presentation. It's quite a stunning collection of work by IRDS from the Czech Republic. Master of cutting and polishing. They have multiple bodies of work, but this is the work we've had most interest in by far. So the two, this piece on the right here and the two in the corners are brand new. It looked really great in natural light, so we decided to set this up. And I think there's a Shelly L in the secondary market right here too. Look at this monster. Look at that thing. That thing is unbelievable. That is gorgeous. Yeah, so that one's available too. And let's see, I think we're done. More? <laughs> we're all... Yep, that's Debbie's room. So we're done. We're going to cut off the sharing of the pinning, moving spotlight. We're going to go back to, for me, I'm going to go back to gallery view. Well, honor to have you all <laughs> for this quick tour of the Glass Coast weekend. This is just a small sample of the whole weekend, as you may know. The auction happened last night. We had events at the Ringling College, Ringling Museum, going to Imagine tonight, celebrating Martin Blank. And then the demonstration and talks. So it's a lot of fun. And lo and behold, I know that this event may have not worked out for many of you. And you're all invited to come to our event in April as we celebrate a year of glass, our 50th anniversary, which is wild. and been around for so long. And we're looking forward to the next 50 years. So <laughs> you can see Andrew's still saying hello. <laughs> Like I got it. There's Eli. Yeah. And people are still kind of grazing before we go to the future events. We made it a little more relaxed this year. Not so much go, 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 go to make people enjoy themselves. But thank you guys for joining me today. If you have any questions you saw any you like, you know who to call. I got in the hat. <laughs> and I, and Thanks, I, uh, a great weekend. Thank all you. right.
Thanks, Aaron. Bye. Talk to you guys later. Thank you for the time to do this. Most welcome. See everybody on the video. It is nice.